most recently we've had randomized um, large trials like Propel with Olaparib and Abiraterone in unselected metastatic CRPC patients. We've had magnitude with Niraparib and Abiraterone in selected metastatic CRPC patients. And then just now at ASCO-GU, we heard the Talipro-2 with um, Talazaparob and and enzalutamide, again, in metastatic CRPC patients that are unselected. And it's unclear to everyone whether or not we need to absolutely do the genomic research. I believe we do to select the patients for treatment, but it seems that you can get results even in unselected patients. And this is the very controversial part of it. And there's been a lot of discussion, and there'll probably be more discussion of this at the ASCO meeting in June, although I don't know exactly what will be on the program, but whether or not we need to select patients. And uh, looking back at the studies where they didn't select patients, how many of those patients who actually did have um, BRCA or ATM or other HRR defects are the ones who really are leading the way? Or is it that these uh, PARP inhibitors somehow act uh, to um, synergize with the enzalutamide or the abiraterone um, and that you don't need to select. And this has been really a very highly controversial. There's there's some interesting uh, drugs uh, in later stage uh, of disease. I've been working uh, with the, the uh, Protax, which are um, targeting protein degradation of the um, androgen receptor. There's ongoing studies with um, bispecifics called BITES or T cell engagers, CAR T cells, and the antibody drug conjugates in clinical are in clinical trials in prostate cancer patients. I don't know if any of them are going to be reported yet at ASCO. But I think that I can tell you, if you want me to conclude, that ADT and the novel hormonal therapies are the mainstay of treatment for still at the moment for advanced prostate cancer. I think that mutation status is important in advanced prostate cancer, and we should be doing both germline and somatic testing on our patients. And the PARP inhibitors are effective and they improve survival, certainly in patients with BRCA1 and 2 mutations, and maybe even in an unselected population. That's the controversial part of it.